Hello, this is Sheldon again. Welcome back to iOS E Tutorials. Today, I will talk about how can we document our code very well in Xcode for our iOS development.、Um, so today, I will not talk about any technical topic, but I will talk convention thing that may differ you from very junior developers. Means if you have the idea of document your code, you may be treated as very senior developers. So let's dig in. Let's create a simple single view application and make it document demo. And now we're here at our view controller. That is first see in the right upper corner. If you hit. This button to show the right side menu. You will see the descriptions、um, because we are pointing to view did load. It will show the declaration of this method and description of this method. It always will show. Also, it will show the availability、um, where it declared. So,、um, how can we document our own method in this way? Means if you document your Function very well. It will be very easy and helpful for the whole project. So let's create one simple function called add up, and then we're gonna take two input parameters.、Uh, let's call it number or input one. Let's make it double, and also input two as another double number, and we will return a double as well. So what we will return is just a simply input one plus input two. Okay. So if now we hit the function here, we can see the helper side. Or we can simply check our code、uh, here. We can see we will have two parameters. One is called input one. To second one is called input two, and there's no descriptions. So,、uh, so first I will show you how to add the description for the whole function, which is simply as slash star star. And where we gonna end, we'll put star slash. So let's put this function will do calculation for. Uh, will add up two double values and return the sum. And now, if you hit check here, you will see the description here as well as the other side. In the following. Video, we will only check here as make it easier. So it will show this description here. Also, we can do some extra thing if this is very important. Means we can put important notes、uh, like first. Check or make sure both inputs are double. It make sure you want to use the return value as in double as well. So if we hit check for now. It will show important notes. 
Actually, if you put three sharp here, it will be smaller. So means this is this this sharp is related to the header. So if you make double sharp here, this thing will be bigger. And the biggest one will be a single sharp. And make sure you, you put a space after the sharp. So the first part is done. You can also show the user, I mean the next developer, let's say you want to show him an example of how to use this function. Uh, then you can do the following. Still, you put two sharps and make usage example like this. So let's simply let res is equal to self dot add this up. I mean, you can put other values, of course. So if you check your function now, you will have an example. But this looks confusing because instead of code, you are returning uh, text here, which is um, not elegant. So what you can do, you can tap this uh, little button on the left of the digit button one. So the button returning this thing. Now, if you check your function, uh, as you can see, this let result now is uh, within a little square, uh, which will indicate that this is an example of a code. Besides this, we actually can put a lot of more things than, than simply parameters. So let's keep working on it, like here we can put returns of double value we can also put um, remark there is a communication to add things up. You can also put to do. You can also put a warning. You can also put version. Let's say one point zero. And let's put some morning uh, notice it will return double only. Let's make some to do support add up. I mean, you just put whatever text here just as you want, and also you can put author um, Sheldon, you can put uh, not uh, at all. Okay, just things like this. So if you come here now, you will find out. Okay, so you are having remark to do warning version author note. There's just so many things you can add this here. So this is what we have done for the function. Another good example of using this document is that you can put some nodes for the enumeration, like enum. Let's put height. Okay. And we can put case short. Case. And also we can put high. Okay. 
Okay, and for this we can do what we have done there to make some description as this is a enumeration of the types of humans height okay and if you when we use it we can see description and uh, we can also indicate every case by putting three slashes eight it includes people below five foot it includes people between five to seven foot it includes people above seven foot So let's see when we want when we are using this height. is equal to height dot high it will show it includes people above seven foot if we type short it will show it includes people below five foot I think this is it. Basically, I'm just showing you the way to clean your code and make your code well documented. And I think uh, if you make your code well documented, uh, it surely shows you are more experienced. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon in the next tutorial video.